Hello, Doberman lovers, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we're tackling a topic that sparked heated debates in the dog training world. E-collars on Dobermans. First things first, you should never use the e-collar to punish or hurt your dog. The e-collar is a tool to communicate and reinforce, not to intimidate or harm. So, what are e-collars? Electronic collars, or shock collars, are training devices that deliver electronic stimulation to your dog when triggered by a remote control. They can be an audible beep, a vibration, or a stimulation. So let's explore the pros and cons of using e-collars on Dobermans. Pros, effective training aid. E-collars can be highly effective for certain training tasks, such as recall training and discouraging unwanted behaviors. Precise control. They offer fine-tuned control over correction levels, making them useful for specific training needs. Safety features. Many modern e-collars come with safety features like adjustable intensity and warning modes. Cons. Potential for misuse. Misuse or improper use can lead to physical and emotional harm to your Doberman. Negative associations. Your dog may associate the shock with their environment rather than their behavior. Lack of positive reinforcement. E-collars often focus on correction and may not emphasize the importance of positive reinforcement. If you're concerned about e-collars, there are alternative training methods for your Doberman. If you choose to use an e-collar on your Doberman, use them responsibly. Consult a professional. Seek guidance from a qualified dog trainer or behaviorist to learn how to use e-collars properly. Choose quality collars. Invest in high-quality, reputable e-collars with safety features. Start with low settings. Begin with the lowest stimulation level and increase only if necessary. Monitor your dog. Watch carefully for signs of stress or discomfort in your Doberman during training. If you want to try one, stay around and check what I have to say about the e-collar that you've been seeing in this video, the Mimo Pet e-collar. E-collars can be a useful tool for training Dobermans but they should be used with care, responsibility, and the well-being of your dog as the top priority. Now, what are my thoughts about the Mimipet e-collar? It's a versatile product that can help you train your Doberman humanely and effectively. It comes in a small and discreet package containing the e-collar, a USB-C charging cable, one remote control, and a little hand strap that you can use to not lose it. The remote has several buttons on the front and both sides. It has a rounded LCD that shows you all the status of your e-collar. You can see the vibration and stimulation intensity, remote and e-collar battery levels, and how many e-collars are paired with the remote control. I've been using it for the last three weeks, only have charged it once, and battery levels are still at maximum capacity, even using the built-in LED flashlight every day. The front buttons have different sizes, textures, and colors. For example, the beep function is activated by a bigger button that is also used to change vibration and stimulation intensities by using both button sides up and down. The middle button is smaller and is used for the vibration option, and the bottom one is the same size as the vibration one but is red and is used for the stimulation feature. The stimulation is blunt and clean, meaning it doesn't cause any sharp or painful sensations to your dog but you need to adjust it to the lowest level that your dog reacts to. The stimulation level can be adjusted by 1 to 30 levels, and this is useful for emergency or high distraction environments. The remote has a lock feature, which prevents accidental changes in levels or activating any beep, vibration, or stimulation, and has a nightlight that helps you read the LCD in low-light environments. The collar has a strap that is durable and comfortable, and it can be cut to fit your dog's neck size. The collar also has a quick-release buckle for easy on and off, and is IPX7 waterproof resistant. In terms of durability, I can say that it's very good. One of my Dobermans is very active. In the beginning, he tried to take the collar off without any success. That's why you see some scratches, and it never stopped working for any reason. Its price is also very accessible. If you're starting with e-collars, this one is a great product. Till now, it hasn't let me down. If you want to check it out, you'll find a link to this product in this video description. Again, remember the following. You still need to be consistent, patient, and positive in your training. And you need to understand your dog's body language and signals. You also need to make sure that the collar fits properly and that the contact points are clean and snug. 
You should always test the stimulation level on yourself before using it on your dog, and you should never use the e-collar to punish or hurt your dog. The e-collar is a tool to communicate and reinforce, not to intimidate or harm. Thank you for tuning in today. Feel free to share your thoughts and questions in the comments section below. Until next time, keep those little tails wagging and your Dobermans happy. See you in the next video.